Hey, welcome back everyone. It's me, Mr. 4 k Upscaler. Uh, I want to talk about a couple of things here on this video regarding projectors. Uh, as you can tell, looking at the title of the video, it's about changing the filter. But before we start to a tutorial how to change a filter and how to clean it, let me first talk about a couple of things. Technology of projectors. Before you jump into buying a projector, you need to understand how projector works. Once you understand how projector works, then you will be able to take care of it and maintenance it much better once you understand how it works. Uh, there is a lamp that's inside right here, inside the lenses right here. You have to take this part apart to change the uh, the lamp, okay? Uh, it shouldn't be that difficult. It's, uh, you know, there's a way of changing it, okay? I believe it's right here, I'm sorry. Uh, the lamp should be right here to change the lamp. This is the lens, I'm sorry. This is the lens. Uh, uh, the, the lamp should be right here. There's a couple of screws you have to unscrew from the, from the bottom, and then you pull this out. That's if you want to change the lamp. Every projector has a lamp built inside of it. That's how you get that uh, luminous projector light onto a screen. Every projector uses this. However, the only difference is here is a 3 LCD technology, which is built here, the three chips that process that light to these lenses right here, okay? So the light should be right here. And right next to the light, you will see right up here, it's a uh, heat blower that blows all that hot air, okay? So this lamp will get warmer and warmer depending on how much you're using it or depending on what type of speed are you using this projector. And that lamp that's built inside here will get warmer and warmer. And then it's going to blow up all that hot air from here, okay? Now, to avoid your Epson overheating. It is very important that you position your Epson somewhere where it's cool. I would say probably on the ceiling next to the air condition where it's uh, keeping it cool. All right, keeping that temperature to a certain Celsius. But the, the most important part is up here, is the filter. This is your filters right here. This is where you will be able to save a lifespan of that light bulb. If you want to make sure that your light bulb can have a longer life lifespan, let's say five years or four years, eventually you will have to change your light bulb. Okay, there will come a time where we have, you will have to change it. So there's no way around that. You will have to change that light bulb. But if you don't want to spend money on changing the light bulb every single year, it's very important that every 100 to 200 hours of watching, or I would say every three weeks, make sure you check your filter. And checking your filter, it's really not that difficult. Also keep in mind, all of these projectors have different setup. Every model has a different setup and the filters might be put somewhere else and you might have to unscrew them. You might have to use a different method to take them out. So it really depends on the brand. Currently, I'm using the Epson uh, 2150 home cinema for this demonstration but if you have Sony or if you have um, uh, Optima or some other brands then or BenQ they might have a different setup but they all have same principle uh, method which is obviously the light bulb and the filter that goes into the uh, the three LCD chip and it being projected here through a lens, okay? So remember, the light bulb is here, and it's blowing a hot hair ear, and then this is your filter. So your filter, it's very simple on the Epson. All you have to do is just pull this uh, part right here really quick, you pull it out, and you will see that there's a filter right there, okay? And you just slowly, gently pull this filter out to see if it's uh, dirty. As you can see, my filter here, it is clean. It is not dirty. It is clean. Uh, there's no uh, any kind of dirt in there, so it's pretty good. 
because I take care of it, I clean it all the time. So you want to make sure you check your filters. Now, if your filter get to the point where it's like really, really, really bad, then you might have to purchase another filter, okay? You can get them uh, on Amazon or you can go uh, to a Best Buy store see if they have one, okay? You can also find it at Office Max. If you go to the Office uh, Depot, you can find it there. So uh, you want to put this back on right here. Put it back on. There it is. And then you put the uh, this part right here, put it back, which should be like right over here, I think. It should be like that. And uh, hold on. I'm doing this with one hand, so I apologize. Okay. So anyway, there it is. It's nicely, uh, tightly secured right there. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. This is uh, very important. If you uh, if you want to keep your projector running, uh, you have to maintenance your projector. Otherwise, you'll be spending a ridiculous amount of money on getting the new light bulbs, getting the new filters. All right. So it's really important that you understand how projector technology works. There's a light bulb. Every projector has a light bulb built inside. You want to make sure that that light bulb lifespan can be extended to a longer time period, okay? Uh, you don't want to overheat that light bulb. The only way this light bulb will be overheated is if uh, your filters are not cleaned properly or not checked properly. You have to check your filters. That's where this light bulb will be able to uh, withstand a certain Celsius, okay? And this is where the uh, hot airs get blown out. From this exhaust but it's really important that you keep it somewhere on the open space keep it next to the uh, air condition somewhere that has a good Celsius temperature that can also help keep uh, the lifespan of the light bulb a little bit longer eventually after five years six years maybe seven years you probably have to change the light bulb you know eventually you'll have to do that but but if you want to make sure that you don't do that every year or every nine months, make sure that you clean your filters and make sure that your Epson is put somewhere where there's a good temperature, very cool temperature. The home theater has to be cooled. Uh, you, you have to have a good uh, Celsius temperature, especially for these projectors. There should be a good Celsius temperature on there. So... Um, this is a quick video, eight minutes. This is nothing new for those of you who have projectors or for those of you who own a home theater. You guys already know about this. This is just for some of my subscribers who are thinking about jumping into uh, projectors. I'm trying to give them a couple of tips before they jump into projector. They need to understand how projectors work in order for them to sustain a uh, lifespan of their projector. It's like anything else, you know, it's a maintenance uh like changing oil in your car same thing here all right there's always a maintenance that needs to be put in place okay guys so uh a lot of you've been asking me for uh that new game shadow of colossus or whatever it's called uh i didn't have a chance to check it out yet i didn't even know the game was out uh i'll definitely check it out sometime this week we'll see maybe on a weekend but uh I'll definitely check it out on Sony X900E to see how well it looks. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.